What's up ladies and gentlemen, Brian's here and this is the review of the Bath Status laptop for 500 bucks. I want to say right away that this is a very serious machine for serious people. No jokes, hashtag MacBook killer. I was very surprised when I found this laptop on Amazon and learned its pros. I decided to order it immediately because I wanted to test it myself and let you know who is this Asus laptop perfect for and what it is capable of. A little disclaimer, even though you can play some games on it, this is not a gamer's laptop by any stretch of the imagination. The cooling system of this machine was not designed for heavy loads like long gaming session, so keep that in mind. This piece of tech is perfect for doing business, working with documents, studying, watching movies and videos, outside activity and also to attract everyone's attention in the area thanks to its gorgeous design. Of course it's also powerful enough for getting some creative work done, keeping a bunch of Chrome tabs open simultaneously, coding and so on. We'll get back to it a little later. The screen here is something insane. It is a 15.6 inch IPS 1080p panel which has very good color accuracy, the few angles are fantastic and the brightness is high. But what I like the most about it is how narrow the bezels are. This laptop has 88% screen to body ratio which is so cool. Thanks to this design feature the overall size of the machine is even smaller than the majority of 14 inch laptops on the market. And even with that slim bezels, they still managed to put a nice 720p HD webcam on the top. Awesome, we have to give the Asus company credit for this. Another thing I definitely want to mention is about the port selection. This Asus laptop has every port you might think of, which is so rare nowadays. Most Status laptops are so poor at having only Type-C ports, but no regular Type-A or an SD card slot for example. But this Asus VivoBook 15 is equipped with reversible USB Type-C port, HDMI port, microSD card reader, regular USB Type-A 3.1 and 2.0 ports, combined 3.5mm audio jack and of course a charging port. When the set is that rich you can easily connect the most of the peripherals, displays and projects with no hassles. But I'd still like to focus on the main advantages of this machine. Gorgeous design, versatility and portability. Yes, in my opinion this thing looks absolutely fantastic even comparing with the newest MacBooks. It's only 20mm thick and it weighs just a little over 1.6 kilograms. It has very minimalistic design, the build quality is good, the keyboard is full size and extra comfortable which also gives that note of a professional machine. The key travel distance is 1.4mm, Asus also gave us enough space between the keys so we don't hit wrong key by the accident and I also like its tactile response. Typing text with this thing is a pleasure even at night. Each key is separately backlit which makes it look even cleaner and even more stylish. And thanks to exclusive Asus Ergolift design feature we got even more comfortable typing experience plus slightly better cooling. Great job Asus. Now let's talk about its performance. Asus VivoBook 15 packs a nice quad-core Ryzen 5 CPU, 8GB of RAM and 256GB M2 NVMe Lightning Fast SSD. You can upgrade RAM by replacing a 4GB plank with 8GB one which will give you 12GB RAM total. There is also an empty slot for additional 2.5 inch hard drive or another SSD. So yeah, there is plenty of upgrade options. I've also tested the installed SSD and I was able to reach 1.6 GB reading speeds per second and 900 MB writing speeds per second, which is pretty fast. Talking about graphics card, we got Radeon RX Vega 8 under the hood and trust me, it's a very good addition. This laptop is powerful enough to get any kind of work done, to run simple and mid-level games, to edit photos in 1080p videos, to play 4K movies smoothly and so on. If you are interested in how many FPS this laptop puts out in games, here is a short list just for you. And if you are interested in any specific game, let me know about it in the comment section, but remember, don't go hard on this one with games. Another important thing to discuss is the battery life. Unfortunately, I have already tested a large number of laptops that last much longer than this thing. In my opinion, this is the main con of this almost, almost perfect machine. 3 to 5 hours of work from a single charge is, well, it's not actually that bad, but it's also not excellent. On the other hand, thanks to the high power efficient CPU, we can use a tiny lightweight charger. You don't see this often now with all those RTX 3060 inside, so yeah, 
This is definitely a good bonus. And the last but not least thing I want to mention, a fingerprint sensor activated via Windows Hello. All you need to do to get back to work and keep going towards your dreams is just to place your finger on this tiny scanner on the touchpad. No entering passwords anymore. This is so cool experience, just like newest MacBooks have to provide. Alright, so that is it for the video. If you got any questions to me, ladies and gentlemen, let me know about them in your comments below. I hope this video was helpful for you and now you know for sure if this Asus laptop is a good option for your purposes and if it's so, please consider buying from the Amazon using the link below in the description box, it will support me dramatically and help to produce more videos like this at no additional cost for you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.